Day six, and I already got a lot of progress um, hacking at Frederick's place and working again on the LG uh, T5 360 VR uh, LG R100. Way too much names for this kind of shit. Anyway, I got button states, which is great. So these little buttons on the top, I figured out what calls they are. Uh, I can have start the device, I can read IMU data, and I now have the button calls. And of course, they look a little bit like this. So as you can see right here, uh, their buffers are really long, which is weird, but um, we have state one and four and state three and two. And those represent the states of these two buttons over here. So I can now read the um, rotation of the IMU and I'm figuring out together with Candy Angel uh, what the packet format is this evening and the button states, which means that I only have to do the audio interface, which is an I squared C uh, system. And I found a, um, I found a command that is able to like write information to it, but I don't know if that means that I have to directly write audio buffers to the device or that I can have it as a generic audio interface. Um, I'm not sure yet, it's a bit weird. So that's something they have to do later. But yeah, uh, looking forward to see if I can get a basic driver going today. All right, let's yep. do this. So I'm using a really great dumping script in order to, with our awesome setup um, with um, paper and tape and that kind of stuff because there's a little light field sensor on there that you need to enable and we're trying to get some IMU data. So let's do this. Um, jaw. So this actually like captures IMU data and put it into some files. And then we can do some analytics in order to figure out what the IMU is actually doing. And it uses like this contraption of um, Perl and some hacked version of OpenHMD in combination with, uh, I think that's about it. This is Mojolicious, some kind of Perl framework. I don't know why, but it works, so. So these are the joys of reverse engineering because sometimes you don't know what you're gonna get. So this is the current, the current algorithm. Let's go back to the hotel. Um, I want to get the LG G5 working completely. Um, I have the screen working, I have the buttons working, and the accelerometer and gyro data, kind of. Now it's mostly calibration and making sure that we do the right thing with the data. Um, even made an OpenGL little demo that shows it up, working. So yeah, I hope to maybe finish it in the hotel, maybe tomorrow on my way to Germany because tomorrow we're going to uh, a new location in Germany to visit another OpenDHMD developer um, who's also very known uh, in the GStreamer community, among others, uh, but you will find that out later.